Hi, I'm Emily Niku, Executive Vice President of Blonder Tongue Labs. An encoder requires several steps to compress the video, depending on the incoming signal format. For example, a composite or component signal must be digitized first, whereas an ASI signal is essentially ready to be qualm modulated. The uncompressed HDSDI, SDSDI, and HDMI signals are encoded into an MPEG-2 transport stream. Several transport streams can then be combined into one ASI stream. Finally, the ASI streams are qualm modulated for delivery over HFC networks. A transport stream is part of the OSI model that defines internetworking in terms of a vertical stack of seven layers application, presentation, session, transport, network, data link, and physical. The transport layer is responsible for reliable transmission of data and service between hosts. The major responsibility of the transport layer is data integrity. That data transmitted between hosts is reliable and timely. Visually, you can think of a transport stream as a large communications pipe that contains one or more smaller pipes. Each pipe represents an MPEG-2 program. This figure shows two MPEG-2 programs in the transport stream. The MPEG Program Specific Information Tables, or PSI, tells the TV how to display video and audio for each program. The Program ID, or PID, tells the TV how to differentiate between packet types and is the key to sorting out the elements in the transport stream. An MPEG transport stream is made up of multiple transport packets, also known as elementary streams. Each packet contains one kind of information, video, audio, data, PSI, etc. Packets belonging to the same elementary stream are identified by the same PID. Multiplexing is the process of interleaving the transport packets of more than one program into a single unified bitstream while maintaining timing of each. The unified bitstream is called a multiprogram transport stream, or MPTS, as opposed to a single program transport stream, or SPTS.